30 seconds left. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG FSS Hurricane. Let's take a look at that bad boy. And we're going to do what we've been doing and go bare bones first to see what attachments we need to hang off of this beast. Now, last night during the live stream, one of you reminded me that I had promised a Hurricane video. The content is completed. I just haven't released it yet. So let's have a look at the numbers. Headshot damage is 46, which is pretty good. Not quite as good as the mini back that we saw the other day upper and lower torso at 36 which is also pretty good and upper legs at 33 it can reach out to 17.3 meters with a bullet velocity of 680 meters per second now the rate of fire is 700 rounds per minute which is a solid rate of fire for that much damage recoil looks a little fierce here and we'll take a look at that on the shooting range here in a second hip fire accuracy is good pretty average for an smg Mobility to me looks a little bit on the slow side for what I'd want with the lower damage, especially the ADS movement speed. The ADS speed is at 240 milliseconds, which isn't great for a SMG, and sprint to fire is pretty solid at 110 milliseconds. So let's see how the FSS Hurricane Bare Bones OG does on the shooting range. Hip shot only, we're not going to try to control the recoil here. Looks like up, then a little side-to-side -side bounce. Nothing bad. Completely controllable. How about aim down sight? Let's reload. And aim down sight the same. So maybe a little higher on the amplitude of the vertical recoil. Now let's try to control it a little bit. Very controllable. So let's take the bare bones OG FSS Hurricane at factory settings onto the field of honor. See how it does for Grandpa and what it did to Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. Das House with an alien growing its guts all over the place. And uh, Muppet put out a prox mine. Grandpa will do the same, but hopefully he won't play like a Muppet. It's the most disturbing map that I've played in COD, and therefore, it is my favorite. Ha! <laughs> Stepped on it. See if any Muppets are back there. Alright, I don't see the side-to-side -side bounce. The ADS movement speed bare bones seems pretty good. But I think uh, that might be one of my targets. ADS speed is okay, middle of the road towards the slower side somebody's doing a dance with a knife and they do that middle east somewhere knife dance but they ought to gack somebody instead of dance oh i think that was obligatory knifer turning muppet and grandpa buys the farm but the gentleman immediately steps on a prox mine there's another yes yeah, it's, it's shooting pretty straight the ads movement speed the stray speed seems pretty decent yeah 50 rounds pretty high damage relatively good reach at 17 meters so we can give up probably some of the reach because the recoil oh, look at the muppet now if you're going to put a claymore out and hide behind it i don't know but we'll be there's somebody doing a face plant Grandpa gets lock-witted. All right, we're going for the Muppet. Muppet. Whenever we can. Because we know there's going to be an easy kill laying down. We'll be able to see his... I think it's a cat sniper. Ooh, there was somebody there. He must have gotten me. So, I... 700 rounds per minute It's pretty good speed. Is it Mupp Muppet's not there. He's out doing Muppet things. Which is usually just laying down in one spot. Ooh. Grandpa got hay marketed. Hay makered. There's the Muppet. And with the damage high enough, a wall bang is a legitimate way to get rid of those guys. Grandpa's taking a rest there. He's going to change out. Even though I still have half my rounds, might as well go full. If there's no, no th immediate threat. Is Muppet there? Yep. Same spot. 
So as far as SMG behavior, seems really good. I got blown off the building by the Lockwoods. Grandpa's in free fall right now. There's the Lockwood man. Best not to hit him straight on. There's the Muppet. No, a replacement Muppet got me. But he's sliding into the scene of his demise there. That's why, you know, a lot of times advanced movement, that's just the way you're going to die looking fancy. All right, there it is. A Snickers victory. I think on the short map, you don't need any attachments. Anything you add to it should probably help the ADS movement speed and the sprint to fire speed. Those are two things you need as I eat a thermite. But that was after the bell. That guy hit after the bell. Grandpa's on high rise. I don't like playing this map anymore. I used to like it, but it's devolved and free for all into everybody camping in one of these buildings on either side. There's a Muppet camping in the back. You can see we're already a minute and a half into it, and there's only four Gax in the lead. So this tells me number two things. Number one, we have a camping lobby, and number two, we're not going to get a Snickers win. Not us, not anybody. That guy has on a Toronto uniform there. Beautiful shot with a pistol here. Ouch. So there's the purple or the aqua veiled nun. Already got gacked. And I just barely saw a glimpse of the aqua. And that's the reason you don't wear a flashy skin if you're serious about trying to win in free for all. Because all I got was a few pixels. Ooh, missed that jump. Somebody steps on a prox mine. Three minutes into it, and we only have, or two and a half, we only have eight now. There's the aqua veiled nun highlighting herself with a bright aqua habit over her head. Whatever you call that. There's the Toronto man. Oh, I didn't get him. Maybe I can gack who gacked him. There they are. Ah, Aqua Veiled Nun. And Grandpa is changing rounds. He buys the farm. I jumped out the window there. Put out the Mosquito. Which immediately does work on somebody named Munch. So I pretty much know that I've got to go to one indoor area or the other if I'm going to find any kills at all. Halfway through the game, 14 Gax. So that means it's going to be between probably 22 and 28 that nobody's going to get a Snickers win here. Unless somebody steps it up there or Aqua Veiled none. Grandpa outruns a grenade. I mean, at 66, I'm pretty fleet of foot there. I'll tell you, that Aqua Veil nun is keeping Grandpa in business. Oh. Nice shoddy. It was a Reclaimer 18, and he was waiting for Grandpa. There's Aqua. There's somebody else. I don't know what they're shooting at. I assume Grandpa, but not very accurate. So we're down by four with roughly two and a half minutes left. Not going to be enough. Oh, somebody's going to try to muppet it over there. No time to sleep, but I only have four rounds left, so change out the mag. And Grandpa wears a grenade. Down by five with a minute and a half. It's going to take a miracle, folks. And not missing any shots. There he is. Ha. Down by four again with a minute left. We've got to find minimum of four people just to tie it. 
Uh, or somebody stepped in paint, the Toronto man. He's actually Elvis, so that helped. Reeled him in one, less than a minute. Still need four kills to win. There's the guy that was trying to muppet. Nobody there. It's no time for resting, Grandpa. Get up. Get up. Only need two Gax to tie, three to win. Comes a customer. There's another. Oh, he's Elvis. That puts Grandpa ahead. What a time for a quad feed. So let's put out the uh, mosquito drone that way. There's still 14 seconds left. Grandpa's up by two. Just doesn't need to be gacked by the Toronto man because that would reel me in. A little bit of distance. The weapon's good. Recoil is very manageable. Not a Snickers win. Another shot after the bell. Grandpa's happy that the quad feed got him. I think what I'm going to do on this weapon is I'm going to decrease the sprint to fire time and increase the ADS movement speed. If I can get ADS speed, that's okay. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Cheers and peace.